Hey, I'm Jason O'Dell, and today I want to talk a little bit about Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. I'm using Lightroom 5. And what I want to talk about, though, is one of the most overlooked modules in the Lightroom Develop module, and that's the Camera Calibration module. And most people just completely ignore that. It's kind of tucked at the bottom of the screen. But this is where you can set the fundamental color and contrast profiles for your raw images. And depending on what kind of camera that you have, you may actually be able to emulate the as shot settings from your camera, similar to if you're using the manufacturer's uh, raw conversion software. So for example, I shoot with a Nikon camera. I've used Nikon's Capture NX for years. And a lot of people tell me that they really like the look of particular uh, the Nikon picture controls like standard or neutral or whatever. They like the color rendition and then they say I take my images into Lightroom and I really don't like the way it looks. So what I'm going to show you is how you can actually emulate that same look right here in Lightroom just by using the camera calibration tab and then I'll show you how you can use that um, and set your own default settings so that you don't have to reapply these every single time you import images into the catalog. So let's take a look. Here we are in Lightroom 5 and I'm in the develop module and what I've done is I've gone over here to the right hand set of panels and I've expanded camera calibration. This is the panel on the right hand side and if you're using earlier versions of Lightroom you may not have the uh, most recent process version which is called 2012. You'll need Lightroom 4 or later to use that. Uh, if you have Lightroom 3, you're going to get an earlier process version. The default for Lightroom is something called the Adobe Standard Profile. And these profiles render color and the default tone curve or contrast for your image. And this is an image of a color checker card that I got. Um, so I want to use this image to illustrate the different color profiles. Now I shot this with a Nikon uh, camera and so if I click this profile uh, tab right here the pull down menu appears and what you can see is I get some options and these options are available to me depending on the camera and they only work if you're using a raw file so for example if I were to open a TIFF or a JPEG this profile would say embedded and I would not have any of these options. So you need to be working on a raw image. But notice that I can choose some, some settings that mimic Nikon's picture controls. So here's camera standard, and you can see the contrast and the colors changed a little bit. Camera neutral, I get an even lower contrast image. Camera vivid, I get a higher contrast, higher saturation. So you can choose these different profiles depending on your camera. Canon users you're gonna find that you've got some options to mimic the camera settings from your Canon camera like camera neutral, camera faithful. If you have other cameras you might not get anything other than the default which is Adobe standard. So a lot of people I talk to they say they, that their Nikon RAW files, they don't have the same color rendition. Well, this is because it's using Adobe Standard. So if you just go ahead and change it to one of the Nikon settings, like Camera Standard, you'll get that look that is almost indistinguishable from uh, running this through Nikon's Capture NX. Now, what if you want to make your own profile? Well, that's a little bit more advanced, but if you've got a color checker, this is the color checker passport, and you take an image of it, you can use this image to read the color patches through software that's available from XRite, that's their color checker software, and it's even available as a Lightroom plugin that will read these color patches and make a color profile. So I've done that as well. So here is a profile that I made called Color Checker Standard and I have some that I've tweaked using Adobe's DNG profile editor which you can download from uh, the Adobe website. That's a little bit more advanced but what I really like about this is that I can use my color checker, I can create a color profile for each of my cameras, so my Nikon D800, my D4, whichever, even my little Nikon 1 V2, I can create these profiles and I get much more pleasing color and contrast than I would have just using the out-of-the-box default settings.
Now, what if you want to make these settings your defaults going forward? Uh, anytime you import an image into Lightroom, Lightroom has to render the raw files using its default settings. So I can change the default settings to say use camera standard or my color checker standard profile by going up to the develop menu and choosing set default settings. And when you do that you'll get a warning dialog box because what it's going to do is it's going to say I'm going to override my defaults with everything that I've done in the develop module. And I can click the update button and that will, will change that. So keep in mind if you're going to go down that route the only settings you want to modify are things in, say, camera calibration, probably things like lens corrections to apply automatic distortion removal. You don't want to mess with tone curves or uh, saturation sliders or white balance because that's going to get applied to every image that you import down the road. One last thing on defaults. They're not going to override images that you've already edited inside of Lightroom. So if you've already imported the images and they used one set of uh, default settings, those will not change. You can change them to the new defaults either by using a preset, changing them manually, or going up to the develop settings um, under settings, choose reset all settings, and that will update everything based on whatever your new defaults are. But it's going to overwrite anything else that you may have done in those images. So just be careful when you mess with defaults. Anyway, I hope that's a little bit uh, of better understanding for you with the Lightroom Develop module. Check out that camera calibration. Uh, you might get results that are more pleasing than what you thought. I'm Jason O'Dell and I'll see you next time from Luminescence of Nature Photography.